Well, we're on our way to Fort Lauderdale for the All-Star Game. Super excited. This is my seventh All-Star appearance. For the one year I got lucky uh, in Columbus, actually. From the Calgary Flames, Johnny Pedro. A player got hurt, so I was a young gun. I got to play in the All-Star that game. That first year, it's my first season in the NHL, and the guys that were there were all guys that I kind of grew up watching, so kind of stayed quiet, sat in my stall, and just kind of took it all in. You know, as I got a little bit older and started going to a few more. How are you trying to control? Yeah. Dude, so good. Kind of look back, you know, and just see how excited the, the younger kids are going to their first or second ones. But, you know, I never take it for granted. It's always a special weekend. I always enjoy going to them. You know, I'm excited to represent the Blue Jackets this year and uh, uh, be on the Eastern Conference this time. You know, I always you know, kind of look forward to these weekends if I get selected. I bring my whole family in. Uh, it doesn't matter where it is. Uh, they all you know, get super excited to come and spend you know, three, four days together. Yeah, it's going to be a whole different experience. This, this whole season has been, you know, having a kid. But um, coming down here um, with her, it's going to be a lot of fun, you know, I'm sure. I think my family's, you know, they used to be really excited to come, you know, watch me play in the All-Star game. I think they might be a little more excited this year to come watch Noah for us when we have stuff to do. There's 14 of us this year. My All-Star game with him back in San Jose was kind of my first time meeting his whole family and doing a big trip with the whole family. That was a lot of fun, just dove right into this whole crazy life. It's, it's awesome, it's super fun every year, really special, it's so proud of him. Like, this is his seventh one, it's a really, really cool thing to be a part of. Thanks a lot, man. Good luck the rest of the year. We're uh, at a golf course. We're doing like a hockey golf challenge. You got to shoot pucks uh, into the fairway and then onto the green and uh, then put it in with a golf ball. Hey. How's it going, Johnny? Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's the baby? She's good. She's yeah. getting big. She, uh, hey, how are you? Good you yeah, good to see you. She's doing good, yeah. No, no. Yeah, with an A, and no A. When you get it on the green, we'll replace the puck with the ball, and okay. you'll pipe with the hockey stick. Okay. How's it going? What's going on, man? Johnny. Scott. Nice to meet you. Finally get it started. Yeah. Yeah, ready to go. Welcome to the 2023 Chipotle Pitch and Puck, where Michael Collins, we combine hockey and golf. Can't shoot that far. He's firing it. I can't shoot as far as him. I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm not gonna do very well. <laughs> Think, uh, gotta keep it up in front of the water. Get a good uh, approach shot, and then putt in for birdie. Our final tee shot from Johnny Gaudreau, Johnny Hockey. See what he got. Oh, nice one. That is clean. Down the left side. Boy, that's some clean sauce. Marinara on that thing. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's like a nice city. We play yeah. there. I play the Memorial Tournament every year. Okay, all right, yeah. It's my favorite. It's like, yeah, it's, it's like perfect for me and my wife. Here's Johnny. Eyeing down the flagstick. Oh, he takes it in low and firm and, oh, that's a skipper, but oh, oh, he bounces back. Nice, boys. That's it. Yeah. Here's one hop, boom. Oh, Looking for the stop, but... Bam. Should've took my mulligan. Where am I aiming? Just, uh, just left of, just left a little bit. Uh, next mark, okay. yeah. It should break a little to the right. Left oh. or right, huh? Yeah. 
So it all comes down to this, Michael. Nick Suzuki. Perfect. Winner, winner, Chipotle dinner. And look at the pride on this young man's face. It's better than the Stanley Cup. That's, that's a nice win. Nice shot on the green and then missed my putt and uh, got par though. So I'm happy with that. Today, about to do the, the media day availability. All right, good, good to, to see you. Hey, you too. You no, know, excited to, you know, get the day started. Hello. How are you guys? How are you? Hi. Hey, nice, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Okay. So I'm just gonna ask you a couple of questions on that topic. Yeah. Who has the best shoe game? You might probably have to say Patrick Line. What about your shoe game? How's your shoe game stack up? My shoe game's not very good. I wear Uggs and flip flops. Yeah, I haven't changed since I was in high school. I was wearing Uggs, and when summertime, I'm wearing sandals or flip flops. So I'll just keep it the same. Awesome. That was really great. Thank cool. you. Cool. So awesome. Much. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Yeah, it's been fun so far, you know, being down here in Florida. And normally we're in a conference room and we're outside next to the beach. So nice weather, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun the rest of the day here. Other than your reverse retros, which team has the best reverse retros in the league? Um, I'm going to stick with ours, Columbus. Johnny, what's your favorite Taylor Swift song? I'm not sure. I should ask my nieces. They're obsessed with them. We're obsessed with her. What makes a good chirp these days? I'm asking the wrong person. <laughs> Keep my mouth quiet and play. You're, you're a guy that's used to playing on pretty good teams, is it? You know? I've been on some bad teams, too. I don't, uh, um, we have a lot of young players, and I think a lot of them are going to be really good players for a long time. A couple of players, I think, you know, have the opportunity and the ability to, to be at weekends like this. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Who has the messiest locker room on your team? You might probably have to say Erica Branson. Kind of leaves his stuff around on the ground and stuff. Doesn't put his skates back up on the stall. You tell uh, him to clean it up. Yeah. I have to tell him to clean it up all the time. Thanks for your time today. Thank Enjoy you. the weekend. Yeah, thank Thanks, you, Johnny. Yeah, oh, your thanks daughter's name is? Noah. Noah, you didn't say. Happy yeah. congratulations yeah. to you and Noah. your wife on Noah. Four months skating. You're saying get her skating now? To we waited till my kids were two. Okay, yeah. and, and it worked. And it's yeah. good. Although we lost to UAT last night, I'm not very happy. But anyway, that's a story for another day. <laughs> uh, thanks to Johnny Goodwin yeah. for joining us. Done. Let's go. Uh, Selfie with you, the little guy. Sure, yeah. Turn around, buddy. I'll get a picture with you guys. All right. There you go. Johnny Hockey Control. There you go, buddy. There you go. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Thanks so much. Yeah. How's Columbus, man? It's great. Yeah. Johnny, Johnny, please. Johnny, love watching you play, buddy. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Today we're at the All-Star Game, the 3-on-3. Three three. Uh, it's probably my favorite part of the weekend. Uh, it's so much fun being out there and uh, playing 3-on-3 three three for 20 minutes. So uh, hopefully uh, you know, we can get a win today. Yeah, it's a, it's a great night. You know, family gets to, to come and watch some uh, some pretty good players. Um, they they're always excited for these type of events and these weekends. That one is whistled wide. Down low and a goal. Johnny Gaudreau. Attention. Johnny Hockey. He knows Gaudreau's over there, and he slides it through Mitch Marner, and it's in the net. You got to take the draw. 
Here he comes again. Sends it down low for Gaudreau, and that one winds up in the net. Right. Two quick goals by Gaudreau, 20 seconds apart. It's sent back up by Panarin. And another goal for Johnny Goodrow. His third, that's a hat trick. Goodrow like, on the left foot, trying to pick his spot. He waits until Vasilevsky commits, and then he beats him just over the glove. Johnny Hockey. Johnny, you're on fire. Hat trick right now. Yeah, playing with some really good players. Obviously, finding me back door wide open, so it's nice. Super competitive, this one. Yeah, hopefully, Sid and uh, Obi can do something special here and win us this game. Thanks so much. Third of the game, scored by number 13, Johnny Control. <laughs> Hughes couldn't keep it in. There's an empty net for Larkin. So that one should put it away. But it is the Atlantic that defeats the Metropolitan. What was that like out there? That was fun. Uh, had a blast playing with those guys. Uh, wish we would have, uh, you know, come came up with the win, but it's all right. It's a great experience. It's a lot of fun. I know the guys had a blast in there, and uh, you know, uh, that's a really cool, really cool experience. Any little souvenirs that you take from that, like pictures or mm -hmm. autographs? Um, no, I just kind of take it all in, you know, and, uh, and enjoy it. Good luck, eh? Good to see you. Thank you for your time. Bye, Johnny. Thank you. You had a really good uh, family section here mm -hmm. today. Everyone was going nuts for yeah. you. Your uh, cousin Patrick ran up uh, to the glass. After he chucked the hat? Patrick, he chucked the hat. Yeah, there's one hat out there. I was wondering who it was, and you know, I know it's my family, so um, at least uh, I saw one hat out there. Yeah, they they supported me uh, from day one since I was a kid and through college and then each other. So fun. I know we win. I don't know what's up with that, but it was fun to watch. Tough one. So to have them here this weekend, it's uh, it's really special for me, and uh, got a guy to get a few goals for them, so it was nice. We have everyone to oh, minus one hand. Yeah. Yeah. Minus one hand. Uh, that's all. Good job, buddy. Now that all star is over. What's next on the docket for you? Um, gonna stick around here for a little. Um, going vacation. I think I have two, three days, two days before I have to be back in Columbus. So. Um, I guess my, my, my bye week's a little bit shorter now, but uh, you know, just kind of relax for the next two days and get back to Columbus and uh, get geared up for the second part of the season. Just stay down here in the summertime uh, and going to the beach. Riding the jet skis around in the bay back here, so. Oh, good. you're a jet ski guy? <laughs> oh, you think? Yeah, I, I love the jet skis, yeah. I rip them in the morning all the time and get up at like 7 or 8 and go rip around in the bay for like an hour and a half, so. Johnny, Johnny you take the jet ski out this weekend or what? No, not yet. No jet ski? Not yet. Have you been on any jet skis since you've been here? Uh, no, I think, uh, yeah, I might rip out there tomorrow morning and try to get Kev out there with me. Um, but no, not yet, but it's enticing. Are you really getting jet skis tomorrow with Hazing? No, I'm not getting jet skis. I think just Keith Yandel is trying to keep trying it. Trying to goad you into something? Yeah, he's trying to keep it light on the on the podium. But um, no, no jet skis tomorrow with me and Kev. Not until after the game? Yeah, after the game, so we, so we don't get hurt before the game.